Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Going Hard Podcast. I am Josh Lay. This is Alan Wagner. And over Hello, here... Folks. Hey, it's Pete. What to do? Uh, what's up? Well, how, what it? What it do? What it what do, do, homeboy? What it do? What it do? Uh, so how's it going? It's going good. Yeah, it's going good for me too, man. Yeah, it's been hot. It's still hot as fuck for the most part. Yeah. Yep. Um. So, oh, should we do some more uh, city in? Well, no. I, was, I mean, that's. I was gonna get to that later. You know. Oh, Suppose, okay. Yeah, maybe that'll be like our uh, segment of the day. You know, could it would be a darn good segment. It's a great. It's probably the greatest segment we've thought up. Yeah, I think it's the best. No, it's uh, you know maybe the second best. I had a real, uh, I had a real wild trip back home. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You were. Uh, I, I called you on the cell phone the other day, mm-hmm. and uh, um, late night when you were all alone, and uh, uh, your voice was sounding pretty fucking uh, pretty crazy. Did, did I actually talk to you at night? No, no. It was like it was a reference to that Drake song. Oh right, I yeah. thought so, but then I was like maybe. <laughs> no, it was like midday. It was like it was the beginning of the evening. Yeah, yeah. So I like, uh, I over that. When does the evening start? Five p.m. It was around. I that. think the summer. I think it starts a little later. You know, does it have to be dark to be evening? I think it has to like begin. You know, yeah. I, I guess it might be dusk, huh? Yeah, but uh, it literally sounded like you had smoked like thirty packs of cigarettes and like sucked a couple dudes off. And, <laughs> oh, whoa! And swallowed some jizz. Whoa! And all sorts of weird shit. Whoa! Back in Fargo. Really? Know. It sounded like that. I could hear. I could hear the 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 jizzy phlegm in your throat. Yeah, it was all gravelly and <laughs> like uh, globular in the back of your throat. <laughs> right. That's some stalactites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't do that. Okay. I know. I know the rules. No, that's fine. I know I, the rules of improv. I'm just saying. Suggest I, that I should have just kept going with that. But I'm just. I'm saying right now. Just say I, I, that's all right. That no, I, I just know what it sounds like, and it sounded like it. So I'm just <laughs> okay. Look, <laughs> I'm. I'm fine with you having your opinion of what I did. Okay, okay. you weren't there. What did you do? Uh, I went to the the Holocaust Museum with Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> oh yes, and. <laughs> <laughs> It was a really. Apparently, we're doing improv. Yeah, it was today, a really, so. it was a really good time. <laughs> like she was like she was kind of cackling at some of the little shoes and stuff, and I was like, this seems a little inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> what if there was just uh, like what one of those in Fargo? You know, like what if that was just where they decided to put one of those? You know, where, where the Jews would have been really safe during World War II would have been in Fargo. Would have been in Fargo. You think? So? Yeah. Well, I mean. The, I mean, there was a lot of dirt. Like the I problem mean, would be getting out of here's the thing, like you know, I, Poland and <laughs> Germany like, or all that shit. My like my whole mom's side of the family is like you know from the the Dakota area. And yeah, they're like a hundred percent German. So right, I don't, I don't think it would have been a good place. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. There's that old there's an old German graveyard we used to always go to. That's as well. what I mean. Like yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 the whole place. But was I don't think that, with the, those Nazis. <laughs> I don't think that they were Nazis. <laughs> they, were sw- <laughs> they were swarming with them. I mean, look, it's your family. I guess you can speak for it. Well, so you can go back. You can go back. One generation, two generations, <laughs> and uh, maybe even the current generation. Nazis yeah. all all around. Anyway, I had a wonderful time at the Holocaust Museum with Marjorie Taylor okay, Greene. Just, just to digress a no, little bit. I'm happy that you two. Uh, we held two we held hands. Out. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's fantastic. I, my girlfriend is such a big fan of Marjorie Taylor Greene that, that she, she understood allowed, that she allowed uh, you to cuck her. Well, no, we, no, we didn't. We actually didn't like, handhold cuck. Like to, this was yeah. kind of like a first date for Marjorie and I. Oh, okay. Or as I All call right. her, Marge. So like, uh, I'm Ma- Madge. <laughs> yeah. So like, first first base, you know, hand holding, and then. Well, I don't know. Second base. I'm not even saying. Look, uh, like cuck, cuck I'm going to your, I'm going to girlfriend. ask her politely to go on a second date. Okay. Um, and for that, we're just we're gonna go to Chernobyl. <laughs> You guys are you guys are going on all sorts of fun dates. Yeah, she, she seems like like all, both of these places that you've uh, you've brought up that you've taken her or are, are going to take her um, seem like places that she would actually really enjoy. Yeah. So I, I just want to like commend you for your like uh, you know like your ability to set up good dates. Well, when you when you're with a political figure, you're not gonna like 
just go to on a, like a go get a burger at a dive bar, you know? Oh, you got, yeah, you got to keep you're, it. You're, uh, it's gonna be a historical experience, yep. you know. And she she knows a whole lot. Like her numbers were a little off, and it seemed to you know, but <laughs> she seemed to be. She kind of argued with her to her guy a lot. <laughs> She told him we got to take his Yarmulka off. Oh, fuck. And I was like, I was like, this is wild. I'm like, but she's a Spitfire. She's, she's a like, Spitfire, you know? She was just like talking about, yeah, just like, just like, nah, zero, zero Jews died. This is where the, the fake, the fake Holocaust happened. We went to the fake Holocaust Museum, <laughs> yeah, she's which, like... which is located in Fargo, North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> where okay, all, see, all that, of your, all of your, see, it used to be a real Holocaust accurate. Museum, okay. and then all your relatives went and fucking uh, no, I was, <laughs> insurrected it. I was going to, earlier I commented saying that it's crazy that there would be a Holocaust Center in Fargo, but it would make a lot of sense if there was a, a fake <laughs> yeah, Holocaust sure Center in Fargo. Yeah, yep, that would make a lot more sense. It sure would. It would make way more sense. It was also just like a Indigenous Peoples Center, where it just shows how, like, we already had like settlements built when the Native Americans yep. came and tried to take them. From yeah, we're us. all we're all we're all just holding hands with Indians growing corn, just having to. <laughs> yeah, go and then all of a sudden, yeah. like their eyes turn like black, and they start like trying to like stabbing our, our kids. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, they're, they're they're like forcing the buffalo in front of their arrows and shit. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So there's a bunch of really good like historical sites in no for in sure Fargo. right right next to the old uh, the old uh, Cohen Brothers wood chipper. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that is actually there, but in the, it is the there. zoo. Yeah, is it at the zoo? Yeah, I've never seen it. No, I've it's never. Not, I've actually, it's not at the zoo. It used to be. No, it's at the visitor center, which is on the other side. Yeah, that's that's over by like forty. I've well, never well, actually. The I've visitor center is right by the zoo. It's like 40, 45th. No, yeah. right the across. The zoo is like uh, yeah, right across. Right across the way nah, there. it's a it's a ways down. Anyway, I was in. Nope. Anyway, I'll. So I went on a date with Marjorie Taylor Greene at the fake call. Right. Had a wonderful time. We'll see what happens from there. All right. No, that's, I'm, that's I, great. I don't want to divide our audience too much. I don't want to keep talking about, you know. Marjorie and, Taylor Margie Greene. Margie and me. Well, I mean, she's just a person when she's not on duty, you know. I would love to make a movie with, with me and her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's, she's just another person. Yeah, you know? and she was she she really humanized herself at the fake Holocaust Museum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, I'm gonna make a movie called uh, Margie and Me, where she just dies at the end and I cry. That's pretty close to it. yeah. It's, yeah, okay. So See, it's between 40 seconds. Yeah, I guess you know you gotta flip around a little bit, but yeah, yeah. You can yeah. Under, you can understand my confusion. Yeah. Any anyway, so I blacked out three consecutive days. What what, what did you? So you you were telling me that uh, that you were you were closing down this uh, this bar called the Bismarck, mm-hmm. which. Uh, Clo- in, my, in my experience in Fargo is uh, one of the one of the dirtiest, uh, funnest bars in town. And buddy, let me tell you, I love that bar, but it's dirty. Uh, as I love it, but I'll, I'll tell you what, and this might maybe my recollection is incorrect of Fargo, mm-hmm. but the, I think the cast of characters is getting a little rougher in Fargo. Is, is it like is it getting harder on that side? I mean, look, buddy, if we have a chance to go to the Bismarck next <laughs> next time we're back, I'm gonna have to show you because like, I'm gonna be back this week. I remember there, there were always shady characters yep. there, but dude. It's like especially like the the Thursday night I was there because Thursday night you know yeah what do you expect I got a knife pulled on me one time there like oh. jokingly but it was by a stranger so I wasn't <laughs> sure if it was jokingly yeah that's hilarious it was kind of weird how, how did that all transpire well I mean I was outside and uh and like this these I just hopped into a conversation of smoking a cigarette with these random strangers and uh, yeah they were like trying to fucking get like beer or something and I was holding a beer and this guy's like give me your beer and he fucking flipped his knife knife open and I was like oh shit he's like no nah, I'm just kidding did you did you start to hand it to him yeah <laughs> you <laughs> like, fucking pussy I was like pussy. this no I was like this is a hand this is a I'm drinking a fucking hams Dude. like I'll I'll, uh, I'll give you this fucking one dollar fucking empire. Hand what you gotta do is you gotta just grab the hand. blade and just squeeze it. And just stare, <laughs> stare it's, like, fucking shit, it's like all right, I'm not gonna fuck with this guy. Yeah, that was a fun experience though. That was I, that was my first and only time getting a knife pulled on. Me, I got so a knife pulled uh, on me. When when, when when did that happen to you? That was probably two thousand uh, two thousand. I would have guessed two thousand eleven. Oh, that, so you got a knife pulled way before I ever did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was uh yeah it was way back in the. Day. I think mine was like twenty fifteen. Yeah. And uh, I was banging this. I was banging this lady. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't seem real. No, it's very real. Just because you're you're banging a lady, you know. Well, that's that's literally why I got a knife pulled. So, that's me. why it's so unbelievable. No, it's okay. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> got lady. Hey, hey just pal- joking. Just joking around. So my, uh, my partner and me were having sex on a mm-hmm. couch, um, in uh in like this kind of like trap house where a couple of our buddies were living, and then they had this roommate who like. Before he pulled a knife on me, would like tell us about how many knives he had. Yeah. He's like, he's like, why? He's like, ask me why I didn't have so many knives. Oh, fuck. And we're like, why do you have so many knives? He's like, because I'm not allowed to have guns. He's like, a felon. 
Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Cool. You know what's, you know what's funny? Cool you know what's funny about that? Like, y- y- have you ever met somebody with just like with like three knives? Does anybody? It's it's yes. you either have like you either have like one. I or have. Two, you either have like one or two knives. Or you have like fifty fucking knives. You know what I mean? There's like no middle ground. Yeah, but people are really into. But that's why people are with guns, kind of too, right? I like, suppose. Yeah, you, not, you might have one or two like, for protection. Like, yeah, right. Well, yeah, you might have like one gun, like one handgun for protection, and like right. a, like a rifle or, right. or and a shotgun. Exactly. Or, or you have or like you a have, cellar that you open up, and yeah. it's like whoa. And it's literally every gun. It's like Mr. The and Mrs. Planet. Smith down there. Yeah, there's yeah. no there's no middle ground. I mean, you know, people just either either have a lot of them or have mm-hmm. have a little of them. Well, this guy, this guy definitely had at least one knife. I can verify that because it was in my face okay yeah so he was mad okay so first of all he wouldn't have ever even known that i was on his couch doing sexual acts mm-hmm. he only knew because of my uh my my fat stupid ginger friend who was hammered uh. literally literally <laughs> fell down the stairs <laughs> like all the way down the stairs which woke him up because this guy god only knows what was, kind he, of... was he upset that you were having sex on his couch the guy who had put the knife to yeah. me yeah yeah why was it his girlfriend or something no it was a shitty couch in a goddamn trap house he's he like he's a... like he's mad that he was mad that we were dirting his couch by fucking what the on fuck? it yeah that just seems like he's a like a just a bad dude. Host. This house didn't have a front door. He's just a bad host. Didn't have a front door. And he's worried about the couch. Listen, if you if you come over to my house, uh, feel free to have ha- have sexual intercourse wherever, of whenever course. you want. Of course. Why wouldn't why, why, why wouldn't I let you do that? Of course, it's crazy. That's the only. It's only like it's uh, crazy to get mad about that. Well, exactly. It's the it's the uh, hostly thing. To, his hostly. It's the hostly thing. Well, that, to that, do. that works. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You know what? You know what he made me do as well. <laughs> What do you, what do you make? So the do? only way I was allowed to go back into their house without him stabbing me yeah. was if I if I washed the the couch. No fucking way. So do you have to go get like a like a rug doctor? And well, no, I, I didn't like I didn't down? I didn't like wash like the arms and like the backs. <laughs> yeah. But I took the like the upholstery off of the the cushions. No fucking way. And I and I ran through the, the washer and I brought them See, back. See, it sounds like it sounds like because uh, he, he you said you said the only way he would allow you back into his house. Yeah. Right? Oh, he, oh, why, he, why would you want to go back in this house? It sounds like he held held a fucking knife to your head for having a, sex in his house. It couch. was a hell of a place to party. Let me okay. tell you. It was a one hell of a it was, time. He was like, it was it was worth every penny I, I mean, spent on dry cleaning that fucking couch. Jo- Josh, you know? why would you go back to that house where you got some random puss? I don't know. Maybe there's uh, okay, more no, random no, 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 puss no, no, about. No. It's, it's it's making more sense right? now that I think about it. Yep. Yep. So yeah, that brought it back to me. He's like, he's like, hey, that's what a good man does. Like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, dude, cool. That's what a good man fucking does. Fucking psycho. Good fucking lord. Yeah, yeah. So that's my almost getting knifed, knifed in Fargo story. I like, I like that we both uh, have. Yours was almost... way more fun because mine. I think I was I like, no, yours sound, yours sounds way more. Yours is way more interesting. Mine was just a random drunk dude pulling knife. I know, you know, but I think like this guy really like. Oh yeah, he sounded like he, he wasn't really joking. He was yeah. like really threatening me, and Jesus if I didn't leave, Christ. he probably would have. Stab me a bit. Yeah, you know what this guy, what this guy's doing now? What's that? He's in prison. That makes sense. Vehicular manslaughter. Oh my god! Holy <laughs> fucking shit! He's a real piece of fucking shit. I feel like I might know who you're talking about. Um, I mean, I'll say his fucking name. No, I don't, I don't think we should do that. <laughs> okay. He's gonna like. He's gonna like after he gets out of prison, come yeah. and fucking find. He's like, I, li- I listen to your podcast in prison. Well, I mean, he killed him. He's like, uh, he's like, you know, all those times he called uh, Harvey Weinstein. I've been in the same prison as him the whole time. <laughs> he killed. Maybe him. we should call him up. <laughs> Just be like Harvey. Do you know our friend? Like, can you? Uh... No, not Harvey. This this guy, the other guy in prison. Oh, maybe he can. Yeah, maybe he can get. In touch they, with him for maybe us, we know? can get a three way call going. Who knows? Yeah. Com- <laughs> hey, quick, <laughs> quick, uh, quick prison conference. Call. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's all good. We can merge. We can, like merge yeah, calls. Yeah, merge it in. Yeah. Press cool. the little plus sign on the phone. I mean, this guy. This guy killed a fucking. Literally, a, a church van full of kids. <laughs> no fucking. <laughs> I actually don't know. That's I got, ridiculous. I don't. I don't remember what That's he did. That's wild as fuck. I don't remember what he did. I would love it if, uh, if like he kills like a church van full of kids, and they're like, "There's like, you know, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, <laughs> that's that, that first off that sentence that you just said. <laughs> le- no matter what it leads up to, is the fucking most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Keep going, please. Okay. And then the cop comes to the scene. He's like, "There's only one way you can make this right. <laughs> you gotta wash. <laughs> you gotta the wash. House. You gotta clean the van out." <laughs> <laughs> you gotta cover up the crime. I'm just imagine like I, all all I can think of is just you you just like uh, you just at least like once a month showing up to this same dry cleaner like the same person working the fucking hill, like, and you just come in with just bloody objects <laughs> and just fucking dirty things and like, jizz covered uh, things. His couch wasn't bloody. He's, he's just like he's like hey uh, what what are you in for today, man? He's like well you know my uh, Dan, Dan's I, making I, me clean his shit again. Yeah. I'm fucked in more of, I'm more of Dan's furniture. Yeah. 
<laughs> Sounds like a fun uh, fun experience for a guy. I wonder what his reaction would have been had we just like been. They had hardwood floors. Like you think? Like I wonder what his reaction would have been. He would have made you scrub the floors. It sounds like. Yeah. Appar- apparently, you just don't fuck anywhere in his house without <laughs> cleaning cleaning the surrounding area. I guess. Know? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't this weird that a guy a guy gets really mad about that? <laughs> yeah, right. I feel like I feel like out of like I mean I can understand maybe like a girl getting upset about it a little bit, you know? Yeah, just but having like having to like see a penis. But, well, yeah, that and then like maybe they're just like oh that's dirty, but like I don't yeah, know. As dude. a guy, you're just like like I mean yeah, cool. Like you know? Yeah, that's it's super that, cool. Yeah, that's yeah, cool thing. That's Who would cool ever thing be like, like hey, quit? That's fucking, a cool thing dude. you're doing over there, you know? Hey, I, it's fucking stupid. What are you doing? You're, are you dumb? <laughs> well, why is your dick in there? You <laughs> retarded or something? <laughs> you know, you, you fucking loser. <laughs> Take your dick out of that wet vagina and leave my house. <laughs> or else I'll fucking stab you. <laughs> This is a that's a cool character. <laughs> yeah. you know the guy who just hates people fucking. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool ass character. But, but a stabber too, a stabber. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Like... <laughs> He's like he gets so angry about people fucking, they stab people. <laughs> yeah. He's like you're stabbing her with the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, there we go. He's there like, it is. Yeah, that's that producer Pete Zinger. <laughs> uh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was thinking about this the other day. Um, I thought it was kind of funny. Like you, you bringing up Fargo kind of reminds me of this. But when I used to live in Fargo, I used to like fucking like break, like not break into places, but go into like fucking areas and climb things. Oh, yeah. You were aware of that. Yeah, but that's not breaking in. Well, yeah. I mean, I was trespassing. I, I guess. know. But climbing on top of something like, look, breaking in is like you're taking something, you're damaging yep. something. You there, there was none of that occurring. Yeah. But no, like I like I was in, like what I, I enjoyed doing that stuff, you know, just like right. hop, hop a fence, fucking climb up a ladder and you're on top of fucking some buildings with a cool view and shit. Yeah, for you sure. You know, that's, that's, that's that was a good time. Yeah. Uh, what I realized, though, is like um, like. Recently, I like as like a thirty year old, I was like walking by this place like when I was really drunk like the other night. Yeah. And I was like, look, I'm just like, oh, that's that looks like it's a fucking like cool spot up there. Like you know, maybe I should hop this fence and like fucking get up there. Yeah. And then I realized like, like how that seems as like a thirty year old nowadays. Like, as a young like twenty year old, like if you get caught doing something like that, like it's like okay, this kid, you know, it's just a young kid like doing some you know random shit. <laughs> oh yeah. But like when you're like thirty plus years <laughs> old, if you get caught like in a random fucking like area like on top of shit, right. it doesn't. It's not a good it's a look. bad look. It's not a good look. At I know, all. man. Yeah. It's, it's just funny how things change like that. Well, you know? certainly, yeah, man. Yeah, exactly. If you're twenty, it's like they almost expect it. Like you'll probably it's like, oh, it's just kids being kids. You're probably but, like getting less trouble. Too. But like yeah, like what if like you saw like a forty year old dude like climbing up a ladder on this fucking like it, like mean, you know it's like, weird it's a weird construction ground thing. you know like there's no circumstances where that's okay like yeah know, exactly just, just another hobby down the drain buddy yeah i mean i think you could still do it but like i mean it's a lot it's a lot weirder now though. it is weird it's, a, lot it's a weird it's a weird first of all i think i can still understand like having the impulse yeah but like going with the impulse and like having the <laughs> like not having the control and like the the understanding of how which it seems like you do you seem oh, yeah. like you're aware yeah unfortunately that being or maybe fortunately that being said that. i mean it could have been that long since you were climbing on top of shit no and that's what's funny about it so you think just the 30 this 30 this 30 no, thing no, seems to really be messing with no, you no no yeah i mean like okay like I, I like I, there's got to be like a cutoff somewhere you know and maybe i just finally you know found the cutoff no i mean that's I mean, look, if it's, it's it's preventing you from drunkenly, like, scaling buildings, <laughs> yeah. I think it's probably a good thing outside of the humiliation of getting caught. Yeah. It's probably a good thing anyway, because yep. let's be honest, you're hitting 30. You're not you're not peak physical condition I got, I got any creak, longer. I got creaky old bones now. <laughs> right, they creak. Yeah. You know, you don't, you're, you, don't, you don't have, like, the bursa, the bursa the bur- sack. The bur- yeah, the bursa. To lubricate your joints. The sack that bur- lubricates. Yeah, that lubricates your joints. That's why Is it's there, creaky. The, what? Your bones aren't creaky. Your joints are the, creaky. It's the bursa sack. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Is there actually one of those? I think so. All right. I'm pretty sure that's what lubricates I think we, your joints. I think we have a doctor that listens to our podcast. Maybe they can. Well, if you're a shit. doctor, don't be afraid to. In fact, hey. We do have a doctor. If, if you're anyone. Yeah. If you're anyone. Who knows anything and wants to be on the podcast? You can email us at the Going Hard Podcast at gmail dot com. Yeah, our Twitter is at Going Hard Pod. We're not talking about anything cool, anyways. Just let us know and we'll hit you up on the podcast. I mean, yeah, you, know? you could be like, "Hey, I noticed that you guys don't have cool topics to talk about." Here's one. Yeah, that's yeah. The fair enough. Some of these podcasts, dude, they don't even do any prep work because they, they, yeah, their fans they do is just, they just fucking their fans just do the shower work them with ideas and they they just read things, you know. They shouldn't call them podcasts. They should call them uh, readcasts because of these idiots. Yeah. 
<laughs> Mo- most of the most popular podcasts aren't even podcasts, in, in my opinion. Yeah, they're not. They're not creative like we are. No. So anyway, I'd... they got some lessons lessons to learn from us. This is what we're getting. Yeah. At. Yeah. I'm starting to feel. I'm starting to feel the age a little bit too, buddy. I'm not gonna lie. What uh, What What do you got going on? Well, the, the the three. First of all, like three of like the hardest days of drinking. That, like besides probably your birthday. Yeah. Like outside of that, like within the last like six months. Probably the three hardest days of drinking outside of your birthday were those three days in a row in Fargo. Like, uh, how? What was the recovery time on that for you? Are you still recovering? Because that was I, that was like I two days am ago, so. still feeling See, fucked up. I feel like it wasn't. It was like three and a half, maybe four days, because we also like played volleyball. Yeah, but then, but then we, but then I chugged like four beers at volleyball uh, and took a shot. Yeah, and then last night. It was our uh, Angie and mine's anniversary. We went out and drank, oh, yeah. just so drank again. Yeah, there you go. So, you, like, you haven't, like, it's it's not just three days. Yeah, yeah no, but, there, there's a hard but, drink. But, days. but okay. so at volleyball, I probably had, like, four total drinks, and last yep. night I had four total drinks. Okay, okay, that's fine. I had four total drinks by, like, 3 p.m. in those days, <laughs> you know, like, and then was up. Was up <laughs> was up till one a.m. Th- on Thursday, yep. two a.m. on Friday, and past three a.m. on Saturday. Yep. So it like kept on building and getting crazier. So this makes sense why you're just drinking water right now. I feel like this is a podcast first for you. But I'm fucked. Up. Like the thing is, I may as well be drunk. <laughs> I want to. I want to blow into the breathalyzer and just see. Uh, yeah, we you, you still haven't opened that up. <laughs> well, it's you, we're saving it for a special occasion. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. well, the, the fans will all be a part of. <laughs> You know, all you have to do is come to our West Virginia podcast tour, <laughs> and you'll see what that's all about. Oh, um, fuck. So anyway, so no, I'm I'm feeling it, man. Because I mean, last night I didn't even get drunk, but I, I drank a little bit, and then you know I was already just so. By the time I got to, to to play volleyball Sunday night, I was already just like so out of sorts. I was like I couldn't even tell if I was getting drunk. Yeah. Because like my mindset was just already just so wonky. Like <laughs> I literally couldn't tell. I was like impervious to those feelings. Yep. But yeah, no, I, I, that's that's exactly what kind of I'm leading to here. Like I'm I'm, I'm tr- like I'm trying to get some sobriety going here, like a nice streak, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and it's because of the pain, you know. Yeah. Like you shouldn't string because like, of the pain. Like you're 29 years old, you shouldn't be, <laughs> you shouldn't be stringing like three insane days together. Like no, that. no, I mean like, it's it gets, crazy. Yeah, it gets to a point. It's crazy. Um. Speaking of that, uh, I, I've, been, I've been thinking about uh, you know I don't I don't have any strikes on me or, or anything, but you know maybe bringing in another uh, keg for uh, for another podcast. I, you know? I mean I, I don't I don't like the juxtaposition <laughs> here. Right? I feel like you're not really listening to me. You know, <laughs> listen, I'm testing. you. If, if another keg comes in here, we're drinking the goddamn the whole, keg, the whole thing. Like that's the thing. I, that's another thing I'm questioning about myself too. Like, am I ever like am I ever gonna like see a beer? Like not right now. Like right now, when I'm like when I'm taking a stand yep. and I'm passionate about it, and I'm like right now, I don't want to drink any of this. Yeah, I, I see. I see producer Pete over there with his beers. I'm, I don't. Yeah, as he does like cracks. Yeah, see, listen, he's That's cracking beautiful. beers, and I I literally don't even want one. But yeah, PBRs. But like tomorrow, if I wake up and I'm like fully recovered finally, and I'm back in my normal headspace. Yeah. Is, is there ever gonna be a time like at that at that status level quo? Where like I'm feeling good. Yeah, where I'm not gonna be like, yeah, I'll drink no, yeah. let's drinks <laughs> like. Am I, is, is, I, 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 I admitted to being an alcoholic. Like, I don't know. I don't. I, maybe. Like, like I'm confused about it. <laughs> but all I know is I'm proud of myself today because I, I legitimately don't even want to drink. <laughs> I I was gonna say I'm I'm a little proud of you. Uh, I'm I'm still not 100 percent assured that that's water in that jug, but no, it is. It's actually it's actually two uh, Pomplamoose Lacroix. Oh, so it's uh, that sparkling water shit. Uh, I, I, I like LaCroix. I hate LaCroix. I hate all sparkling really? waters. Yeah, well, some, like, gross. I like water, but I drink I drink just normal flavored water, unflavored water. I drink you that I drink that all day. So when I get home and like I'm especially if I'm not gonna have a uh, alcoholic beverage, yep. I need a little just yeah, a, a little, little pick me up. It's a little, it, rem- a little it reminds little, me of a little, uh, fizzle in your it mouth. It reminds me of a vodka soda. Yep. And I, and God knows I fucking you, love those. Do you know what do you know what's really fucking weird? Uh, my my dad like prefers fucking uh flavored water over like like cheap like f- like raspberry and fucking lemon flavored like fucking like water bottles. Like he like drink over that over like so a, like like they just have like artificial like, like, flavor like Aquafina like lemon or something or no, like it's like uh like um I don't really know what you're really talking about. So you know the shitty plastic bottles like the like Ice Mountain like those fucking yeah. like the little, little tiny ones yeah. So like those. 
but they just have like fucking artificial flavor. They have though. They have really. That's all he drinks. Like that's he has his fucking fridge filled up with them like non fucking stop, and it's just like he's just drinking fucking this like. Well, that's like the fucking well, that's like the same thing as basically. Just, that's basically just like a non sparkling. Yeah. Lacroix. Well, I mean, I would take those over that shit any day. But... I don't get it. Yeah, that's gross. I don't. I don't get it, Big Dan. Yeah, Big Dan. Big day for Big Dan. You're, you're Dan now. <laughs> <laughs> Should we change our names for the podcast? Uh yeah, uh stage names. Yeah, Big Dan. Big Dan. Is that me? <laughs> yeah. I, I could be Big Dan. Well, you get to give me mine. Okay, uh um uh R- Richard uh Richard oh, yeah. Cunning Cunningworth. Richard Cunningworth. All right, how about uh, uh Dick Dick Cunningworth for short. Dick Cunningworth, okay? How about this producer over here? What's the pro- what's his real? What's uh, his oh, your new name? You're uh, you're you're having me do this one also? Well, let's think about it together. We can both do this okay, one. Okay, yeah, that's us brainstorm. How about like uh p- pot like pot man? <laughs> uh fucking uh, pot pot Jesus. How about like two stone to do anything ever? <laughs> <laughs> hey two hey two stone. <laughs> it's like two chains, but like uh two stone instead. I mean, two, two chains is also I would imagine he's like pretty high time, usually, yeah. yeah. If I had to guess. I don't know much about him, but he's one of those rappers. <laughs> Yeah, I know how those guys operate. Uh, well, I mean, he's already kind of like got the uh, uh, like the Craig Beanies thing going on. Oh too. yeah, Craig. He yeah. does look like a Craig. He is a Craig. Yeah. So like Craig weed. Yeah. <laughs> so Craig. You know what's weed. funny? We we could uh, we could play some Craig Beanies on this show. And oh, we not will. Copyrighted at all? Oh, we will. Don't you worry. Oh, okay, we're saving that. Oh, okay. there's some things that are like too good that like. It's it, those like that's the thing you go to like when we're out we're completely out of ideas we're like okay well this is how we keep it fresh <laughs> yeah, this is how yeah, we keep yeah. it hot yeah yeah I, I mean, and we've referenced Craig Beansicles a number of times we so have I, uh, I, we're, we're no we're just kind of like giving people a little taste a little taste a little, a little taste of a little what's something to come, something you know? yeah, yeah. Better, y'all better y'all better get excited <sighs> so how's your marriage going that's uh, on the rocks buddy yeah yeah it's about to end any day yeah yeah uh, I walked in uh, I walked into the house the other day. Uh, what what do I see? But uh, just a, just the milkman uh, banging my wife. Yeah. Yep. How do you know he was the milk? How do you know he was the milkman? Because there was a milk there was a a milk truck parked in front of. <laughs> so like the Kemp's guy. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's that's funny. There's a milk truck here. It's, yeah. It seems like uh, it's like <laughs> it's all like jackknifed in your driveway. <laughs> it's a giant <laughs> fucking semi. I was like, I was like, why is the milkman here today? He just hastily parks his fucking AT wheelers and goes like, and slam your wife. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not, he's not even bringing in bottles of milk. He's literally bringing an entire fucking semi truck full of milk, stopping by the old house for a quick bang. <laughs> yeah, it's like I don't think you're allowed to like do home delivery out of that thing. No, I here's what's, here's what's funny. I actually did see. <laughs> this a does list. sound funny. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I I did legitimately see a fucking uh, like an actual milk delivery service the other day. Go to your like, house? No, no, no. Well, no. I mean, uh, <laughs> Wait. I mean, yes. I mean, yes. But, uh, um, but no, like a, like a legitimate fucking like milk, oh really milk man like driving a, a truck dropping. Was it the Schwann's up. man? No, it was like literally the only, actual milk. The only thing this fucking truck did was deliver milk. Was it in cartons or was it like in the glass jars? I, I, did, I didn't see him delivering it, but I saw the truck and it literally said like fucking milk. Like it was like a milk service. I could see like maybe like some, like, some sort of like organic farm with like actually like oh, jar yeah, and like yeah, deliver. Yeah, yeah. See, that that seems, uh, that makes more sense because like I... I couldn't fucking believe it when I saw it. Yeah, it also makes like, sense because your happening. Your wife is kind of a hippie, so she'd probably like be into that. Yeah, and then she would get banged by the fucking organic, <laughs> yeah. organic yeah. milkman. You the know, smelly, the smelly, he's, like, the he's got like fucking dreadly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, fucking he's, it's like milkman used to be so like, clean cut, and yeah, now they're just these fucking dirty hippies. He's like just... walking up to your door. He's like, he's like, hey man, it's weird because uh, you know animals don't drink milk, only we do. You know? <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah, cool man, yeah, get the sweet. fuck, out, yeah, get the fuck yeah. out of my wife. Yeah. Isn't that fucking weird? <laughs> You've heard that shit before, right? See, this, this is what the milkman used to be like. Oh yeah, no, no this is see... now. This is what he's talking about because I saw it the other day too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, look, look at the delivery area. Oh yeah, that's that's literally that's a, yeah. that's a large delivery. Area. So the milkman is still out there fucking uh, cl- claiming. Uh, uh, and look at, by the way, look at this guy. Wives. You know he could fuck the shit out of your wife. That guy is like, you know, 
There's no way that they look that good, but if that guy was out there fucking Dude. delivering milk, he'd be banging fucking people's wives for sure. Wait, what, there's no, what? there's no way you fucking like this guy comes and fucking delivers. It's, the, it's a literal milkman. It comes to your fucking door and isn't fucking banging your wife. Your your wife is the one scheduling this for sure. She's like, I well, mean, are we sure? Always wearing a banging wait, milkman. I guess is this a real milkman or is this maybe like it's a male strip? No, is it a, a male stripping oh, thing? It's like like it's like a code. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like a cover. Are, you, like, are we sure that they're actually delivering milk, or is this like some sort of like cool like the milk? Yeah, the milkman's here, you know. <laughs> like, and then he just rips all his clothes off and you know does whatever. What are you the, fucking doing? He's signing you up for some milk, buddy. No, it's all. He good. literally hits him at too. God damn. It's all. What do you mean? You don't want some milk? <laughs> oh, God damn. You were stopping how hot this guy was that you had to deliver to your house. Well, yeah. I mean, like, I like. I can't do it for my wife, apparently. I need the milkman to come oh, over. Dude, here, I'll know? tell you what, this guy. Wouldn't it be funny if our proud history all it was was like we just fuck all your wives? <laughs> we get we give your we give your wife the milk. <laughs> Since nineteen oh two we've been fucking your wife. <laughs> uh should, should I get my mom on the podcast? Uh, dude, how do you think she would respond? Uh, I would not be good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I I love talking to your mom. I don't yeah, know. Right? I, I don't know. Next thing you know, I'm gonna like ask her about the milkman. And yeah, the, yeah. We don't need to bring the milkman into this scenario. Now, yep. if it was my mom, we could definitely have that conversation. <laughs> I mean, she wouldn't want to, but... Uh, but Yeah, yeah. I respect your mom. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They only got the swan man out there. They don't have real milk, the man. Swan, like the do. swan man? Swan, swan man. Swan <laughs> man. Imagine if it was a I swan man. <laughs> I don't fucking know. That guy looked like more like a swan man. See, I, all I, never, I never had the swan truck stop at my place. <laughs> fucking <know>? swan. <laughs> Here's the deal, though. Swan is really a horrible name. It's, yeah, I'm, I, not, it, rich, it doesn't I'm feel... not rich enough for the fucking swan I don't like think the swan... Right? I don't think it's for wealthy people. Maybe. I think they do Listen, like... I, I still don't have... Like, I'm not going to be like, hey, fucking, uh, fucking swan man, come over to the house and give me shit. But they don't even... That seems... It's just lazy fucking rich people shit, you know? <laughs> I don't think... I don't just think go to the fucking the grocery Schwab store. The Schwab is not for rich people, Just go dude. to the grocery store. But that's not right? what it's about. That's what it is. That's what it's doing, though. Just go to the grocery store. Stop being a lazy fuck. Are we at the Schwan man here? Mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. Look at that chick. That's... Uh, dude, look at that, that chicken there. That is not good, dude. It's all, like, frozen. Schwan? fuck. Just go to the grocery store. That's, but the thing is, the Schwan guy is like, stop fucking signing me up. For shit. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking asshole, dude. This is amazing. Uh, are the, are the listeners seeing this too? So, okay, no, don't fucking because because they got they got his his fucking telephone number last that's podcast. My, I know that's my good email too. You asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're gonna get. They might get some f- some free schwans, dude. Make sure you get his address in there so that way. Oh, make sure he comes by on Mondays while no one else is home except for Carly. Too. Listen, I, I, <laughs> I sit at. I work at a computer all day, and I don't have to do that much work. I could literally fucking start signing both of you up for the craziest shit. Hey, don't it's worry, buddy. Day. The Schwab man's only gonna visit your house when you're not home on Mondays. Uh, when your wife has her day yeah, off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, um, yeah, uh, my wife scheduled it. She's like, just make sure you come around like noon when he's yeah, really not. When he's really here, not. Yeah. Definitely will never be here yeah, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I think I'm just gonna try to work from home this Monday. She's like, oh, don't do that. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the worst thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck? I can't believe there's a real fucking milkman still driving around. That's a like a strange little novelty thing that people are just doing. It really is. Yeah. Like there's, it, there's really you want to talk about the Schwab the Schwab's been having no it's reason. It's like it's such there's a, no reason it's at such all. Such a fucking like just a euphemism at this point that it's absurd yeah. that people would like fucking silly, seriously right? order that. You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. Like it has to be like a cover, right? Like that guy's has to be. Has to be. He looked. Yeah, he looked like he might have been a stripper. He looked just like a stripper. Yeah. Like, 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 that's not the guy you want delivering milk to your house. No, dude. no, not. no, no. It's just special. No. Mm-mm. You want a guy like me. Yeah. Dude, I should. Ju- Are they hiring? Dude, honestly. You just come, you just come up with your fucking, like, with your fucking, you pop your top out off as, like, you're walking yeah. up. Yeah. Here, let's. Like, just shake your hair out. Let's see, if we can, let's see if we can get a hold of these guys. Okay. That's, yeah, that's a great idea. All right. Let's here, see what we can uh, do. Here. Gotta yeah. Uh, oh yeah. There here. we go. Yep. 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 Do we got a we got a phone number? Yeah. Let's, let's talk see. to these fuckers. Do do do. Milkman. Damn. Production lead twenty nine dollars an hour. Wait wait wait. Is this for people driving milk around? I mean, that's probably these are probably actual truck drivers. Yeah, I don't know how to drive an 18-wheeler, and I also don't really want to. But that's pretty fucking... Did, did that say fucking 28 bucks an hour? That's pretty... You make pretty good easy. money driving truck, dude. It's just... It's a rough job. Could you, ever, could you ever do something like that? 
to drive truck. Yeah, I would. I would never want to. Oh, was it? Was it? Ke- was Kemp's the milkman? Mm-hmm. Oh, it was. It was? Okay. So it's a Kemp's sponsored yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh. Okay, oh, so maybe okay. they're not fucking. Yeah. I mean, well, I'm still gonna ask. We'll still, yeah, still ask if they're. We'll fucking still them. see if they're fucking people. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, you, you, your boy uh, delivered milk the other day. Did he f- fuck my wife? Or was it someone, somebody else? <laughs> just be like, did, no, just pick up and just be like, did you fuck my wife? She smelled, she smelled you know, like rotten milk and cum. Do you know who fucked my wife? <laughs> uh, do, we got a, do we got a phone number somewhere, Pete? Uh, I'm trying to find one here. Okay. Oh. I would like to do milk delivery, please. <laughs> hey, can you can you give me the milk? Can, do you have milk for me? <laughs> Like I have no experience delivering milk, but I'll do I'll do the best I fucking can. Yep. Might be this might be a big moment can in my you, life. Can you give me the cream? It's like I'll as long as they give me one of those nice white t shirts. Yeah. Maybe corporate. We should call like if we call corporate, they gotta know the they gotta know the peeps. Yeah. They got everybody. Just be like, Can I speak to HR? You guys know the names of these folks, right? So, it, so that that place we looked at, that was Kemp's with the guy with the with the, with the, 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 the sexy milk the sexy hat? man with that the a milk fucking delivery? hot ass dude. Oh. Hmm. All right. There we go. There's a phone number. It says they're closed. But I'll give them a go. No, yeah, they're probably still around. Nobody's fucking calling. Who the fuck is calling Kemp's? You know what I mean? What would the reason like, be? They're gonna be very happy that you that you called. Let's see. Here. Thank you for calling Kemp's. You're welcome. Please listen closely to the following message. Okay. If you know the extension of the person you're calling, I don't. Dial now. To dial by name, please press 2. To place an order for the order desk, please press 3. If you're one of our customers and have feedback for our customer satisfaction department, please press 4. That's, right. uh, that's the right if one. Your, your wife uh, presses number 3 to get the milk to show up. Thank you for calling the Kemp's Customer Satisfaction Department. Our normal business hours are Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you wish to leave a message, 3 PM. please press 1, to 3 PM. and someone will return your call during the normal that, business Did they say hours. Monday through Friday, too? These lazy fuckers. Yeah. All right. If you wish to leave a message, someone will return your call during normal business oh, hours. Yeah. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Hey, this is uh, uh, Jared. Um, so I was wondering, I have actually a few questions. I figure you might be the guy for the job to answer these questions for me um first of all um do you guys do you guys actually have men out in the street delivering to homes um because my wife said that there was a man here or rather my neighbor's wife said there was a man here delivering milk to my wife so i was curious about that first and foremost um i just want to get that cleared up um second of all are you guys hiring because uh, apparently, my wife is into that. So anyway, um, this is uh, this is Jared. You can uh, you can you can contact me back at goinghardpodcast at gmail dot com, or at seven zero one two one nine four seven three four. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh boy, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll, 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 we'll get no. We'll get to the bottom of this. Yeah, we'll get to the bottom of this. Back, yeah. Man. Yep. They're probably they're probably like, oh, funny joke. It's like, no, my wife is getting fucked by someone. And I need to know who it is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to record that if they ever call back. Yeah, we, I was gonna say like, uh, we need to figure out how to work that whole system. Right. We got that. We got we got to get the deets on how to do that. We sure do. Well, maybe yep. maybe they call us back after the break. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be fantastic. All right, cool. Let's take our break right now. Then All we'll right. be back after this. Hey. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Fargo Moorhead Going Hard Cleaning Company. Uh, If you uh, soil a a friend's couch or someone who lives with a friend who's probably more like an enemy, uh, the Fargo Moorhead Going Hard Cleaning Company can take care of all the the stains and soil. The Fargo Moorhead Going Hard Cleaning Company, um, currently under renovation. (laughs) (laughs) It's <laughs> <laughs> so, like nobody can even access it right now. <laughs> All right, that's tight. All right, the It's a great company. That's a great company. Uh second um second advertisement the show. It's brought to you by uh by by uh Kemp Milk. 
Oh, delicious. Delicious, delicious Kemp, Kemp milk. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Uh, your, your wife's love it. Your, your wife's really love it. Mm-hmm. Enough to get a, get a sexy man from, from Kemp's to come and deliver it to your doorstep. While you're at work. While you're at work. D- don't think twice about it. It's not, it's not anything that you think it is. <laughs> Camp's Milk. <laughs> a brand that's more loyal than your spouse. <laughs> and now time for the second half of the podcast. It's the Going Hard Podcast. Producer Welcome back to the podcast, everybody. Good to have you back. Break? Good break? Great, great break. Decent break. Decent break. Good break. Decent break. Yeah, well, fucking Kit Kat bar in it up. Yeah. How come? Uh, how come producer Pete had such a better break than you? Well, I uh, I don't smoke. I, I wish I had smoked cigarettes still. Oh, I see. Jones in. Over yeah, there. some more of your thirty-year-old shit. No, it's nothing to do with that. I'll be back. I'll be back smoking soon. Oh, you think so? Probably. I suck at life. <laughs> oh. I, I, what I find is a good way to like keep a good streak going is to tell yourself that you'll eventually fold. Yeah, exactly. So no, I'm keeping my expectations exactly <laughs> okay, where they need to Okay, that's good, I guess. Yep. yep. Back to back to chain smoking them cigarettes in no time. This is a tremendously lack of disciplined approach. Yeah, no, I mean, like I, I feel like I have enough to discipline to at least stop for a while. You know, let let yeah. my uh, let let my fucking uh, lungs pinking up a little bit. So your I lungs do recover, them, so I can blacken them right back up. You know? Yeah, your lungs do recover. People underestimate that. Yeah, you know how like uh, you, you ever seen like um, like uh, time lapse videos of like our our Earth, how like uh, like the like ice caps like recede and and, and come in again. Oh uh, no! I is this like some Alex Jones shit or something? No, 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 no. Like this is actually like uh, like NASA. I, I don't know if it's NASA. Or Wait, so, it so, so it's you... like satellite pictures over the Earth, and you can like time lapse photos where you can like take pictures every time they come around. You can see the ice caps coming in when it gets warm, and then going out when it gets cold. Oh, really? Yeah, that's like my lungs. So they're not like per- so. Wait, okay. No, I, I like that. That's what I was getting. First yeah. of all, I love the analogy, but second yeah. of all, I'm confused. Except for a, being white, it's black. So, with cigarette tar. So are you saying? So are you saying that uh, that uh, the ice caps aren't melting? That they just they melt a little bit, then they get then they get big again? Well, yeah. I mean, like one side is winter, one side is summer, and then it flows back and forth like oh, the, so the caps. The caps. So global warming is a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Precisely. Uh, and so and so is uh, um, uh, can uh, lung. Um, cancer. I thought you were gonna say so is Kansas, <laughs> it's like the band of the state. <laughs> so is so is cigarette cigarette induced lung cancer. It's also a farce. I mean, for a lot of smoke people, em, smoke them if you got them. For are you doing another advertisement yes. here? <laughs> <Yeah>. You're just <laughs> yeah, ad- Phillips Morris is not paying me. For you're just advertising, yet. just smoking any cigarettes. You're like they're all good, <laughs> good and good for you. Yeah, L and M's. You, you you have a couple of those. Uh, it's, you're having a good time. What does L and M stand for? Uh, 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 it's love and something, isn't it? <laughs> There's so many. I'm just, I'm just cycling through all the letter the the, the words that are. Wait, hold on a second. Yeah, like we have c- cycling through the words. Yep. Hmm. What the fuck is it? What's it? What? Uh, Logan L- uh, Liggett, Liggett. Liggett and Myers. Oh, sorry. Right. I, didn't mean to, I just didn't mean to steal your thunder there. From 1830. That's what's see. That's what's cool about cigarettes is like how like old they are and shit. Mm. Like like the, like American spirits like popped up like in the last like decade and a half or whatever. Yep. But basically every other brand of cigarette has just been around for fucking ever. Do you remember? Do you remember when uh, American Spirits, uh, when those guys used to not be pieces of shit, but then it turns out that they're just as big of a piece of shit as. as I actually don't know anything about that. Oh, they. Uh, um, <clears throat> so they were supposed to be like organic and like natural, like tobacco. Right. That was the whole thing. But they were like they were doing just as much like fucking like yeah, spraying their doesn't shit. Doesn't surprise and, me. Yeah. And enhancing it with nicotine and getting you real addicted to it and shit. You know what my favorite uh, brand of cigarettes are? <laughs> what's your What's your favorite brand of cigarettes? Cool. Oh yeah, cool. Oh wait, wait. How about how about? Oh Jesus. <laughs> how about uh, um, what are those fucking ones called? Uh, Sean Paul. Uh, not Sean. Sean Paul. Paul. The fuck. Oh, uh, I Paul, know. Paul. Paul. What? Paul Mall. Paul, Paul Mall. Yeah. Do you guys remember Paul Malls? Like, when's the last time you smoked a Paul Mall? Ah, uh, no. Long you know, time. You want to yeah, know? What's those actually are gross cool? as fuck. It's the Camel cigarettes, no filter, soft packs, man. Yeah. 
That's uh, what's cool, dude. <laughs> I've, I've ordered. The, the guy I've doesn't ordered, smoke cigarettes. Yeah, he's like, right. what I do? It's no filter, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I, I, ax- I don't fuck I ax- around. No, okay. There's been a few times. Actually, there was this one time specifically that I remember where I ordered. For, I, I was I was trying to get the dude to get me um, camel lights because I was smoking camel lights for some fucking reason. And this dude gave me fucking uh, uh, camel light no filters. Oh, damn. And I didn't even fucking notice until I left. And I was like, well, I'm not going to go back. And What's the point of the that. light if you're going no filter? It does, yeah, it doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> um, but I fucking smoked him and it was like, it was awful. I don't like people fucking just do, people just do that shit. Did, you see, know? you smoked the whole pack? Oh, the whole pack. Wow. Not wasting money. I actually had never smoked a no filter cigarette. Really? Is it just incredibly rough? Oh, yeah. Like every fucking every puff you take is like a fucking like. Like you know, you 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 know you you feel how like your fucking lungs feel in the morning. So the know? filter you, really you know, do, you know the filter getting. really does a lot, huh? Yeah, it takes yeah, it takes some stuff. Out. I mean, you haven't looked at your fucking filter after you've like smoked a cigarette before. Well, sure, it's fucking gross. Well, yeah, because it's like your saliva and then like the color it's of not the smoke. The, it's, it's not the saliva. You're or what are you fucking like spitting into your well, fucking no, filter but, or something? But what? that's what happens when you when you're like sucking on a thing. You know, like your saliva's in your mouth. If you're sucking on something, you're not fucking like but, but, pushing saliva. Out. It cr- you're it, but it inward. creates the moisture because it's all connected. No, it doesn't. Okay, your your cigarette butt gets a little wet. Uh, yeah, no, no matter what you do. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you're you, first of all. You're a you need you need a cigarette. Yeah, to, to, I'm, jo- I'm Jones. And we're sitting, you, like literally, we're sitting here fucking just chatting about all. Like this is like an AA meeting for fucking <laughs> like my my cigarette addiction or something right now. You're like I'm in NA. They're like what really? It's, it's like, like I remember this. Narcotics? I remember this one time I smoked a fucking Paul Mall and I uh, it tasted like dirt and I loved every second of it. You know, do, and, and everybody's like, "Yep, I've been there before." Do cools you know? still exist? Cools? I'm I haven't seen a fucking like. Cool is it amazing that they allowed uh, like literally? A name of service to be called cool. <laughs> yeah. Like how fucking it's actually, awesome! It's dude. actually fucking tight. It's the best. Um, let's see here. What does this I say? feel were like they, were they only menthols? I think uh, so. I mean, that would make well, sense. Yeah. Damn, yeah. their their business model's out the window. <laughs> yeah, they're in trouble. I it, mean, first of all, they're called cool, which like the whole campaign was like, no, cigarettes are not cool. No, which, but we are cool though. You yeah, know? which yeah, like yeah. no, so the yeah, cigarettes yeah, yeah. are cool, but we're but we're cool. We are cool. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so, like, those and, like, okay, so, like, Cools and, uh, Paul Malls, because, like, I used to, okay, so my first job was working at a fucking gas station in, uh, my hometown of Castleton, North Dakota. Oh, sure. Is that too much information to give out? I mean, I don't know. We gave out your number last episode. Yeah, and and apparently Petey just gave out my fucking email address, probably, so, okay, good. He Um, he did put your address down, like, (laughs) you're you're getting a Schwann's delivery, whether you like it or not. God damn. Or at least a Schwann's (laughs) offer. Nothing gets delivered unless you, you know, buy it. So... Uh, but I, I worked at a, like, I was like 14 years old. Like that was my first job working at this, uh, gas station in, uh, in small town, North Dakota. Sure. And, uh, I was a pretty clever little guy. I, uh, I was, you know, they, they allowed me to, uh, uh, pack the, or, or like stock the cigarettes up in the little thing. Oh yeah. And they had cameras watching me, but like, I like, so I would take them out of the, the carton and I would like take like. One one out, and then I would take like three out, and then I would take like two out, and then I would take like what? Well, so I'd take like random numbers out, so they couldn't count how many I was taking out. <laughs> you don't think they could have counted one, no, no, two, no, no, three? Because, because, because they, no, 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 no. no, no. This, this was this was two thousand. Uh, this was two thousand fucking four. They didn't have good enough cameras. To do that. Oh they sure, okay. Fucking, it was that, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yep. So uh, I would do that, and then I would leave one in the fucking carton. Like, just one pack in the carton, and I would fucking throw it in the trash, and when i take the trash out at the end of the night, I'd fucking bust that bag open, and I'd nice. bring back cigarettes. Yeah, that's, that's pretty clever. Yeah. Pretty uh, clever. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's been seven years, fucking, uh, do- you know, double jeopardy or whatever the fucking, you know. What, what, <laughs> Statute, what of Statute of limitations. Statute limitations, yeah. I'm sure that no one's going to dig this up. And... It'd be funny. Sh- uh, fucking uh, uh, my boss, uh, what was his name? Sh- like, Sean Gallagher, I think. Shout out to Sean Gallagher. Shouts out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't he, think he's coming he's, after you. He's gonna come. In. I don't he's think he's gonna so. come by. He's like you, son of a bitch. He's like one of our like. He's one of our listeners. That'd be fucking. I mean, if he's listening, I, I want to say that first of all, he's my idol. Yeah, he's just you're the he's fucking a good shit. Man. No, he's the shit, man. No, but uh, those are those are the golden days. Yeah, so I would I would get to try all sorts of different types of cigarettes mm-hmm. for free. You know, I'd be sampling that shit. I had a camera. Tr- I had a little camera trick that I would do when I worked at Subway too. Oh yeah, what'd you do? So I learned how to how to hit the reprint receipt button. Okay. So that way I could take so when my friends would come in, I would just make them a sandwich. 
and they could hand me the card and I could swipe it, make it look like it's like like it's an active transaction. And, and oh, then, and then you hit and the, then, oh, then hit the reprint uh-huh. receipt button, hand them the receipt with their card. Yep, yep. on their way. Exactly. A lot of free sandwiches. I I I got multiple. I got a free sandwich from you. I'm pretty sure once a week. It was yeah, that it, was fantastic. It's not more. Uh yeah um you actually you showed me all sorts of really cool uh subway sandwiches. There were some tricks of the trade, no doubt. The the one line see the the meatball marinara with the one line of uh, mayo mayo on it. Something about so that's it. That's the ticket. There's something about it. That's the ticket. Yeah, it's real fucking good. Yeah, but uh, but you can't you can only you can only get it at certain times of the day, or else it's old and gross. That's also very true. Yep. I, listen, I've, I I I take in the lessons. That meatball that gets hard to the core. Yeah. It's not good. I've eaten I've eaten a couple like that, and <laughs> let me tell you, I regret it each time. <laughs> P, uh, producer Pete over here is a fucking JJ's guy all the way, and he's fucking shaking his head. I've given out, I've given out, I've given out my fair share of free food. That's oh, I, I oh, watched yeah. him every time. Every time a pretty girl would come in when we were working at Jimmy John's, <laughs> like, no, oh, you can have, you like, can have the chips for free. It's on the house, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every I guarantee time. that's exactly how it started. Too. He was like, "Yeah, you're on the, it's on the house, dude." That's what he would say. He's like, "No, no big deal." <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like. You're really working it. That's fantastic. You wouldn't even let me eat free food, and I was working there. Did you? Did you? Uh, did that? Did you like pick up some numbers uh, with that at any point? Only number I got was that drunken noodle. Oh, nice. Yeah. So yep. unfortunately, not. Oh, okay. Well, that's too bad. Should we get to these uh, these wonderful listener emails that we all love so much? Yeah, you're there. We can read some. Uh, some. <laughs> we can tell people the name of cities and the temperature it is. <laughs> Hmm, boy, this is a real <laughs> toss-up. What, what are we thinking here, boys? I think um, I think until we have an, an open for that for that segment. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 So next week we can start reading some yeah. temperatures again. No, no, that's great. That's I great. Like that. Yep. Oh, how about this? We'll, it's, what, it's what the listeners want. What we'll do is we'll, we'll kind of intersplice both. So let me get my uh, <laughs> okay. let me get my time and date app up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think it was time and date, right? I think so. Yeah, timeanddate.com. dot mm-hmm. Hey, where's the where the where's the fucking temperature? Uh, whew. <laughs> Find it. Current weather. Okay. You don't know where I'm. You don't know where I live, bitch. Manhattan, Kansas. Where, where's the fucking the Where's the fucking temperature? The the chur being uh, all in caps. We'll be right fucking back. <laughs> what what is? What is this? I don't know. You found? So, somehow, okay. Cities and temperatures. I'm just gonna type that oh, in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what it was. Boy, the fucking weather channel. The fucking weather. There's some cool. Uh, there's some cool websites out there that tell you the weather. Dude, it, this... what's the fucking weather? I don't know how I found this last time. Listen, is this... All right, all right. Ah, okay, all right. We, go, all right. We, we got it, we got it, we got it. All right, it. cool, all right. cool, cool, cool. So, cool. we're getting our emails up on there. We're going to get... It. So, we'll start with a little bit of weather first, all yep. right? Mm. Atlanta, Georgia, 72 degrees. Austin, Texas, 80 degrees. Great. Baltimore, Maryland, 65 degrees. Birmingham, Alabama, 74 degrees. See, that's surprising. There, why are we? Why are we hotter up here? I don't think these are accurate. Well, if that like we're talking Alabama and they're like seventy five degrees and we're like sitting up here like a balmy like ninety yeah, degrees. Yeah, I don't know. Something's going on. Anyway, yeah. Dear Going Hard podcast, I was thrilled to hear that your last episode was the all the boys all back together. You know, when I had emailed you previously, rather upset with your decision to uh, not be a complete unit any longer, I realized that I was out of line. But I'm glad that I was rewarded for my patronage. Wishing you guys nothing but the best. Producer Pete, you're the fucking man. I'd love to get baked with you when you guys tour West Virginia. Bruce from Boston. Nice. Right. Cleveland, yeah, Ohio. Bruce. Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, 60, cool. 60 degrees. <laughs> Columbus, Ohio, 63 degrees. Dallas, Texas, 77 degrees. Indianapolis, Indiana, 63 degrees. You know, I realized we we never did the uh, we never did the the intro to this segment. Miami, Florida, <laughs> fuck, eighty four degrees. <sighs> Minneapolis, Minnesota, fifty five degrees. Wait, what this? What what the fuck is going? I don't on? look. I think I, I what just the fuck is happening. Look, I'm not I, this look, this website. I don't I don't trust this. Web. But you, hey, you don't know when people are gonna be listening to this though, man. I mean, That's maybe, true. Maybe when they listen to this, it'll seem right. So current weather temps around the. U.S. 
Hmm. Look at the look look at the fucking that's a, yeah. that's a goddamn heat wave. This is all this is all a bunch of bullshit. Well, let's get back to these emails. Mm. All right, all right, all right. All right. Dear producer Pete, I know that you're probably scared right now given the heading of this email. However, I would just like to know that I went and got help like you suggested. And I'm doing better than I've been doing in many, many years. I just hope that you can understand that when I was going through all those things, you were the only one I felt like I could talk to. And though we never developed the relationship that I always sought, I'll never forget the times that we did spend together. In particular, that one magical evening at Como Park. Okay. Anyways, this is just me checking in and letting you guys know that everything's normal and that... I do apologize for the way I behaved all those times. Anyway, mu- sending much love from the St. Vincent Rehab Center in Tampa Bay, Florida. He sounds like he's a uh, he sounds like he's on his way to a speedy recovery. It seems like a Jeffy yep. from Tampa Bay, Florida. Okay. Yep. Hey, uh, best 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 uh, of best, luck. Best of luck. To best you. of luck to our best fan. Yeah. Yep. Best of luck to our best fan. Best best fan. All right, well, let's get into this music, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. I haven't, I haven't even heard it, well, so, one lick of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, so um, I, I know I had mentioned last episode that I wanted to like do like an R&B kind of a, a, oh, a, a no. thing. Oh, no. So I like I kind of cooked up something in that direction. Okay, you know, I might have missed the mark, but well, I, feel well, like, I feel like I feel like I maybe did. Uh, well, let's take a let's take a listen. Yeah. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the song. And what, a, what a good message that was for everybody. It's a great message, yeah. All right, that's yep. it for us, guys. Uh, thank you so much for listening. As usual, I'm Josh DeLay. Hey, my name is uh, Alan Wagner. And over here. Hey, it's Pete. See you next week. All right. That rhymed, and I liked it. Yep. Here's the song. Peace. Just want to let you know that when I came home last night, I saw his van in the parking lot of our hotel Motherfucking milkman. I'll kill a motherfucking milkman, girl. You know how much I loved you. Life ain't always what it seems. I don't know what it means. When I saw you with that man in that white suit, I lost my mind. Took a step back, realized that I can't force our love to be what it was before. Our love is gone. The milkman stole my baby's heart. I have to live with that. I'll never live it down. It's a sad day. It's a sad night. Sad life. I can't compete with the milkman. I'll never be that kind of man. I can't lift those crates. I can't provide her with a life that's great. at my old girl's house searching for meaning trying to find something else that I can lean on but that milkman never leaves my mind my ex is looking real fine but he stole my true love for me nothing that I'll ever see will be as beautiful as her I hate the milkman. I hate the milkman. I'm gonna kill the milkman. Well, insert a gunshot there. <laughs> bang, bang, milkman. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>